Hello everyone, and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron, and for today's video, we are headed back to the world of Last Epoch in my newest series, Fire Necro Versus. And who are we taking on today? That's right, the last boss in the game, the Emperor of Corpses. Now, I'm being told over and over again that I will likely get one-shotted by this boss. I do not set my flame race on autocast. Not that I don't believe in it, I've just been playing the same way the entire time. I really can't build up that 60k ward that a lot of people use to take down this boss. So we're just going to go through it the old-fashioned way. Now, this boss fight is particularly important because there's an item that I have been hunting for. And it drops from this boss, and that is the Dragon Flame Edict Two-Handed Unique Staff. Now, this item is literally designed for my character and build. If you look right here at the bottom, dropped from the Emperor of Corpses. So we have to win. Now, if you are looking for a new build, this Fire Necro has literally completed everything in the game. And again, I have perished. It's very strong, and it's one of the best Necros I have played since Diablo 2. The link for this build is in the description below, and I linked it at the end of the video. Okay, talking. Let's get this battle underway. All right, let's do this. Let's start by building up the army a little bit. Ultra focus time. Kill. I'm gonna get it to 40. Good round number. Oh 40. Hide him up. to the outskirts so when he does his spell I can get out of the way. I have to remake my big dude. Steady. Get death red shade. He just good. Rates all around this. 20, 20, 30. Half-life. Back up. For a quarter life. Red shade back up. Army's down a little bit. Back over 20. Die and drop me my staff. Done. 
man. That's not my staff. All right, what do we get? Rewards. 46% chance to receive a glancing blow one hit. 196 increased minion health. 67 increased physical health. Wow, both of these are really good. And roll 35 to 55. And roll 150 to 250. I mean, this shows that minion health is important, but I'd rather have the glancing blow. Then I don't have to worry about having this on my gear so I can use different affixes. Glancing blow. Confirm selection. All right, what did I get? Have you already? You didn't get my staff. But victorious. Emperor of Corpses goes down. Maybe I'll get something good. Oh no, there is no chest. That's it. The final boss fight. Again, wasn't super difficult. This build is very, very strong. Half the time you didn't even see the Emperor of Corpses in the screen because my minions are doing all the work. Any other bosses that I come across, I will make sure that I post. But in this series, Fire Necro versus, once again, the Fire Necro is victorious. If you have not joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We now have over 250 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to have a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Last Epoch, update 7.9. What does everybody think? What do you think of the build? Again, I'm going to link this build at the end of this video and in the description below. That's it. Stay home, stay safe. Do not forget to join the official Action RPG Discord. Aaron.